It's a great day for the Lady Balls. Excited to get started. Our team uh, has been working, I think, extremely hard. Are we there yet? No, but we're putting in the time and the effort. Haven't had to coach effort, and that's been one of my biggest concerns of um, our past teams. So, playing hard, our freshmen are fitting in very well. Um, our upperclassmen have been great leaders. For the most part, we're healthy, and uh, I think we're extremely excited to, to get on the floor and for you all to see um, right now where we are. If we if this was a regular season game, I'd be a little nervous. So we still have a couple of weeks to, to get ready, and that's what the exhibition games are for. So look forward to Thursday. Kids that play that type of ball, that style of uh, play, play hard, play aggressive. Um, with reckless abandon. And I think secondly, our practices have been tuned up a little bit. They're a little bit more intense. Our expectations are, are a lot more. And we're young, we're trying to, to, to form great habits. So we've, we've probably turned our defense up a notch and our practice intensity up a notch and uh, they, they're responding. Ollie, how much we- I don't have a starting lineup right now, so I'm gonna use it obviously to our advantage to see who um, plays well together, who doesn't, uh, what kind of rotation. This is, this is something for us to throw out and, and put different, different lineups to see how we respond. And, and that's what I intend to do. I, I may, who you see Thursday start may not necessarily start Sunday or start next Friday. I'm just gonna use it for, and we've had two scrimmages and have started two different lineups and we're kind of getting a, uh, maybe a little bit of a core, but still not there quite to, to make the decision of who's going to start and who isn't. Coach Chris Lennon from Channel 10. You say you don't have to coach effort. How big of a difference is this large freshman class from four years ago when you had seven of them in? Is there a difference in the effort that they put out in, in when they first got here versus having to coach that a lot four years ago? Well, I, I think, Chris, I think the leadership that we've had right now, Tabor Spaney and Kamiko Williams, has been big for us. Uh, they understand that uh, our practices needed to change. And it, it has been different because you, you take five freshmen and we've had to do a lot of going slow, a lot of, lot of teaching. And we tried not to get real uh, ahead of the game. And I think four years ago, we didn't take it as slow as we probably should have. So we're making sure we're, we're getting certain things, fundamental things down, and then we're trying to move on. But the, how hard they play and what we expect of them, I think they have a clear vision of, of how we want them to play and where we need to go. So we just haven't, we just haven't cut them any slack. Uh, I, and I think it's, it's been in a positive way for them to respond and, and uh, how they're performing right now. I'm not saying that we, we were easy on them the last couple of years. I'm just saying we're, we're, we're putting it out there and these young ladies are responding. That's a, that's a great comment. They're responding and understanding what, what style we want to play. And I, and I think after four years, look, we, I, the group we had the last four years, phenomenal. I mean, we, 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 we got three um, players drafted, two in the, in the WNBA in the first round. So. The talent was there. I just thought at times we didn't, we weren't consistent. But incredible talent, huge to replace, and we lost five stars. But we're trying to build a foundation for this year and years to come. So um, at times I thought last year's team just didn't play as hard as they could. And so this year's team, we're trying to make sure they understand we can't be up and down. We've got to understand where what we're doing. Intensity level has to be there. And uh, that's the only way this team's going to be successful. <clears throat> Dan, I think the veterans have, have really stepped up and been great leaders. I look at Sierra Burdick and what she did this summer, her, what, she, what her commitment in the gym was incredible. And I think the, the young ladies, our freshmen that were here this summer, saw that. I think Tabor Spaney, is, she's always been a, a, a huge leader for us on and off the court. Um, and, and I ask Ariel Massingale, she's going to have to step up a little bit more and be more vocal. And I think she's accepted that challenge and has, has, has been an outstanding for us. So it is key. It's key for our, our veterans to, to lead the, give them a, um, a blueprint of how we want things done. 
and it's up to them to help us how to help us get there because it's you know it's not about um, the freshmen it's not about you know we're, we're majority freshmen and sophomores and so we've got to have some kind of um, people who have been here to understand what our expectations are and where we need to go and, and I'll say this Megan Simmons has been just uh, been phenomenal. I, mean, I know she's been such a great offensive scorer, but she has made a huge commitment on the defensive end, and hopefully you will, you will see that as well. So we we have kids that are that are I don't want to say buying to the system because the system really isn't that much different. But we've got kids on board, and that's a huge makes a huge difference and a huge influence for these young kids coming in. I, you have that opinion, and so do I, but I don't think the national media has that opinion. I do. I, for us, I think it's low, but it, it is what it is. And um, we're not there, but all I'm telling you is that is serving as a motivation for us. And I don't know if that's I – mean, if you lose five starters, you, you, lose, you lose a win as coach in the country. And I, I understand that expectations for a lot of people will be lowered, but they're not lowered for me. They're not lowered for this program, not these fans, and so, yeah, we, we don't like being right 20th, but it's preseason, and it's we're using it as a motivation factor. That's a great question. Well, I I want to make sure that um, that we understand the importance of we've uh, since I've been here we've stressed defense, rebounding, uh, quick tempo. So that that's that has been that's been what Pat's. Um, philosophy is, and that's been what mine is. And, and as far as Pat, my expectations haven't changed. I mean, we're still going to class. We, we, we're still going to graduate kids. So that foundation has, has, not, has not changed. My expectation is, is they play 100% on the court, and I know that was Pat's as well. I think, I think probably the difference is our, maybe our style of coaching. I don't have a stare. But uh, I, I'm a probably a little bit more more active on the sideline. I don't know if that's good or bad. I, I haven't coached a game yet. But uh, I'm going to do what I think is best for these young ladies. And if 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 I see that my game plan isn't working, I'm okay to change it and say, well, we got to change direction. Right now, I love our tempo. I love our pressure, and I love the fast pace. And, and that's what I've always enjoy coaching and that's how I if, if I can remember back then that's how I like to play but it, it, if it's not working I'm not stubborn enough to, to make a change leadership something that you had to teach her and how has that grown in the last couple years in her well I think it's a work in progress so we're, we're still teaching and learning I uh, you know Kamiko is a fun loving kid and, and our players young players are, are are attracted to her but and I just had a meeting with her today and said that my my expectation she's not a Tabor Spaney I understand that but as long as she leads our kids in a positive way doesn't distract them doesn't doesn't say well you know the coach is crazy I said what well, a great leader understands that the coach is you, you, you the coach is right bottom line the coach is right then you have a problem you go back in the room and talk about it but I can't have you know, Kamiko voicing her opinion. Not that she does, but we're, we're trying to lay the groundwork for her because her work ethic is, as I told her, has got to get better because she's a great, she's an example and people look up to her. So uh, we've really worked on how she plays in practice, um, how she, she handles herself off the court, and it is a work in progress. And she, I think she's, she's bought in, she's willing to help because she understands, I mean, she's a senior, so she understands that. Um, if she does, as she may not want to be a leader, she, it's one of those, you may not want to be a role model, but you are. And so I think that's the role uh, Kamiko's been in, and uh, so far she's been very helpful. I grew up here, I was a part of Pat's, her starting off coaching, and it is, it is personal. And uh, of something I've always wanted to do. I've been involved with this program for 28 years um, as an assistant coach, and uh, I think people, I can't tell you how many questions have been asked. You're you're crazy to follow Pat. Well, I don't. You have so much pressure. I don't. I don't see it as that. I was taught by the best to be put in this position. So I think I'm prepared. Mistakes along the way, absolutely. But as long as I keep learning from them, 
And uh, I've, Pat and I have talked about this for a long time. And she's put me in situations where I, I, I've been in uh, difficult situations. I've been able to sit back and watch her perform. So I, I can't, I mean, this is where I always wanted to be. So I've never said, well, I'm, I'm scared to do this. I don't want to do this. I love the challenge and I love the opportunity to be here. It's in my blood. It's what I only know. And um, I, I think the, the country in women's basketball would be shocked if I didn't have one orange and white. They would think something was wrong with me or something. I'm sick or something. So I, uh, it's just, it's just who I am and, and what I think I was chosen to do.